Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back on the here. This time we have this 90 Prime Zola. Now, um, I've been looking to do a couple of Prime icons. I'm trying to save as many coins as I can for this promo because Team 2 is looking so, so good. I can't lie, so I'm going to be smashing out reviews on all of them. So I tried the Zola. Um, I played him in Elite Division and all the games. 22 games I played with him, a lot of games. Just to get the um, extra 100k and the two Prime prime gold players backs and all that. Um, anyway, on start sense, so he's five foot six. He's got high, medium work quicks. He's right footed with four star skills, four star weak foot. He's got 86 pace, 91 shooting, 88 passing, 91 dribbling, and 63 physical. So on paper, it looks like quite a good card. Um, he's also got a couple of traits that are really nice that I'll speak about on the positive and negative side of things. Um, I decided to go with the engine chem style because I feel like that's what it needs boosting the most. I'll speak more about that as well um, after the clips. Especially because that agility and stuff, because he's a little bit smaller, he's not got the best agility in that. Um, so I feel like the engine camp style is the recommended one for me personally. Um, but I've got nothing more to say in the intro, so if you do enjoy or want to see more, please do subscribe, and I'll see you after the positive and negatives. Peace. So, my overall thoughts about the card then. So, this is a really weird card to review, I can't lie. It's probably one of the weird cards I've tried this year. Because um, the things that should probably should be good about this card aren't. And the things that probably maybe shouldn't are actually really good about this card. So, I'll start then. So, first is the 4 star, 4 star. Now, this is definitely an upgrade on David. Uh, the weak foot is like, I would happily trade in one, uh, one star weak foot for an extra skill on David. Um, honestly, the skills are such an issue on that card. But anyway, we're on Zola, so 4 star, 4 star, really nice to be fair. Obviously, I really want 5 star skills, especially in the League Division. It's so hard to play with it, but. Anyway, it's not too bad. I still do a couple of skills and a couple of nice ones to get me in and around the box. So that was quite nice for Zola. Uh, the force or weak foot wasn't any issue at all. I didn't have many problems with it at all. Like, literally, when he shoots, he, he scores. Like, he's a really... Him and David were, honestly, some of the best finishers I've used this year. Really, really good shooting with the both of them. And, this, and as I said, this Zola card, when he hit it, wow, it flied. Jesus. Uh, next thing is the pace now. I don't know. There's something about the pace that I'm, I didn't really like so much. I'm going to be completely honest. 
It felt a little bit slow in game. Um, I normally find the smaller players are actually the faster ones or seem faster, but he didn't really feel fast in game. Yeah, he would have the odd burst of runway, like, would be triggered in behind you get through, but, like, that's easy. Like, anyone could do that. Like, Slatan's normal card could probably do that if you, like, trigger him through. Like, you're going to be through no matter what as long as you play those L1R1 triangle balls. So, the pace isn't bad, but it's not amazing. Uh, now, as I said, the shooting... All aspects are really nice to be fair. The volleys are the lowest aspect, but even then, they will still go in. Uh, the long shots, I did try a couple of times, but didn't have many successful ones with them. Uh, the green ones got blocked, unfortunately, and then the white ones, some of that just, just didn't go in, so bit annoying. But the shot power, really, really good in game. The uh, finishing is good. And one thing I did notice, right, is um, that like, the stats actually is quite interesting because David's got four better attack position than him, base, and he actually felt it to be fair. Um, David's position in and around the box was a lot better than Zola's in my opinion. Uh, Zola kind of got lost when I was trying to like tramp it to him and stuff like that. So that was a little bit, not frustrating because I had David there instead. But like, you know what I mean? Like when you're at like, 90th minute, you need him there. It's a bit annoying. But as I was talking about, the finishing so, so good. A, a hand in hand with his traits, which is really, really nice for this card. Now next up for me is the general passing. Again, not too many issues with the, the passing. Uh, the long passing is especially good. The curve as well, really, really good to be fair. Um, especially on them shots and the passes. I think that I saw something uh, where if you have like above 85 vision and like 85 passing or like 90 passing, it does like auto passing for you. I can't remember what it was, uh, but it, if it is that case, I can see why with this card. Because he's got really good passing, let's say like switch it out to the wire and stuff, which I could probably see why you play him cam but that stamina i would probably advise against it just because it's a little bit low and i feel like name or struggle at the times with that stamina so if he goes then this solar car is definitely going to do it as well uh, so as i was talking about the passing stats decent the free curiosity i didn't have many opportunities to try out and along with the crossing because obviously he's playing um striker in a 4-4-2 for me it's not really have many issues to try it uh, now the dribbling is where it comes into a bit of an issue again. Um, I I just expected a lot more out of this card. I'm going to say because he's so small, you'd expect him to be really agile and nimble on the ball. But 85 base, even with a plus five, he just didn't really feel the most agile player in the game. And me and my mate were trying him, and he it was just a bit like I had two strikes, so I had a three star skiller striker and a guy that doesn't turn as well as you probably want him to. So it was a little bit hard to play with these two up front together. Obviously, they got a lot of goals because uh, the two of us we could play easily between us, but. Even on your own, you can still do it quite nicely with this card. He's got a lot to him, but that agility just isn't the best, in my opinion. Uh, now, the ball control is a lot better than David's for me. It, the David ball control is woefully bad. Obviously, the Zola might take like a bad touch here and there, but overall, the passing, especially if you could drive it to him, it, it's, it's decent, to be fair. Uh, now, next up for me is the actual dribbling stat. Now, although the agility is low, the uh, dribbling stat kind of saves it. Um, it's really nice in games, to be fair, at 99. I didn't really notice it that much because, as I said, the agility is a little bit like counterbalancing it but generally speaking decent now this is where the issue lies with this card although most of his shots fly in top corner there's been one or two chances in the games where he just bottled so hard and it's because of his 79 composure and i'm sorry i do not expect a card of this value to, this rating to have 79 composure that's like last year's bloody hugo sanchez level that is it's shocking it, oh, i just i don't know why it's got so low composure and you will find a few chances here and there because of that composure that might get bottled so that is a little bit annoying at times uh, the air ability as well, not really the best. I I had a few problems with that as well, uh, mainly because he's five foot six with the ju uh, bad jumping, bad head and accuracy, and also the stamina. As I said, you can only really play him striker with that stamina um, because when you got the tactics on him and he's got the work rate, he will normally stay forward with that. But anywhere else, he'll probably get a bit tired. And last me, the strength again, another issue because he's five foot six. He's not really have many like head to head where he's going to win the ball. Like it's just pointless to be honest. He's more of like a shooter kind of guy. So my overall verdicts on the card then. Now I'm gonna go start by start as I normally do, and then value for coins, and then overall score. Um, so first for me is the pace. Now as I talked about, it's not really the best. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. Uh, so overall for the pace, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. I just there's something lacking about it. I I, I imagine it's because of the sprint speed isn't the highest, and it will get caught quite easily. Um, but generally speaking, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I'm making it out to be, but it is still a bit of an issue at times. Now, next up for me is shooting. Really good to be found. We've been 9.5 out of 10. He was such a slap it off merchant. Like, when you're in and around the box, you are so, so confident with this card. Obviously, the composure kind of lets it down at times, but overall, that shooting so, so deadly. Uh, now, next up for me is the passing. Now, as I talked about the issue, I didn't really have many. So, the long passing may be a bit here and there, but overall, I, I think it's quite solid. So, overall, for that, I'm just going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, the dribbling is a bit of an issue i'm going to be completely honest so the agility is quite low the balance is a little bit low because sydney's so small the composure is especially low and the rest of that's actually quite decent so overall for the 
dribbling, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, he's lucky to get that, to be honest, because the standout stats are like quite woeful, but overall, I think it is worth that. Uh, now, the physical for me, overall, all quite bad, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. I genuinely just... All of these are quite... I can't really say much about this. Like, this stamina is the only half-decent one, and even then, it's not even the best. So, value for coins in. Now, 600k... It's not actually too bad for this card, to be fair. He's got a lot of good qualities to him. Do I think you get better, like, a normal card? Yeah, probably. You could probably get a lot better over, like, a um, special card instead. But if you do need an icon for 600k, he is probably one of the better ones I've used for the price, but I don't know. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I just feel like there is better than him, so... Now, overall score from then, so I think I gave David overall an 8.3, and I do think he's actually better than David, in my personal opinion, just purely because of that skills. Uh, they got around the similar shooting, and the pace David does win, but like the skills is just a vital point about the card. So overall for him, I'm going to give him a 8.5 out of 10. Uh, that's based on December, uh, late December in the month, so if it goes like January and February time when you're watching this, you need to be uh, taking that into consideration. Buzz off my view as always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 1k subs by the end of the year, so help me towards that, I'd greatly appreciate it. But I've got nothing more to say, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.